A very distinguished lady was on a plane arriving from Switzerland. She found herself seated next to a nice priest whom she asked, Excuse me, father, could I ask a favor? Of course, my child. What can I do for you? Here is a problem. I bought myself a new sophisticated hair remover gadget for which I paid an enormous sum of money. I have really gone over to declaration limits and I'm worried that they will confiscate it at customs. Do you think you could hide it under your cassock? Of course I could, my child, but you must realize that I cannot lie. You have such an honest face, father, and I am sure that they will not ask you any questions. And she gave him the hair remover. The aircraft arrived at its destination. When the priest presented himself to Qasem's, he was asked, Father, do you have anything to declare? From the top of my head to my sash, I have nothing to declare, my son. He replied. Finding this reply strange, the customs officer asked, And from the sash down, what do you have? The priest replied, I have there a marvelous little instrument designed for use by women, but which has never been used. Breaking out in laughter, the customs officer said, Go ahead, father. Next. <laughs> The elderly Italian man went to his parish priest and asked if the priest would hear his confession. Of course, my son, said the priest. Well, father, at the beginning of World War II, a beautiful woman knocked on my door and asked me to hide her from the Germans. I hid her in my attic. And they never found her. That's a wonderful thing, my son. And nothing that you need to confess, said the priest. It's worth, father. I was weak and told her that she had to pay for rent of the attic with her sexual favors, continued the old man. Well, it was a very difficult time, and you took a large risk. You would have suffered terribly at their hands if the Germans had found you hiding her. I know that God, in his wisdom and mercy, will balance the good and the evil and judge you kindly, said the priest. Thanks, father, said the old man. That's a load off of my mind. Can I ask another question? Of course, my son, said the priest. The old man asked, Do I need to tell her that the war is over? <laughs> a man gets shipwrecked on a small island. After a few days wandering, he comes across a tribe of natives who have just lost their shifton. The tribe's high priest tells the man that as he is the first outsider they have seen in 20 years, he must take three tests. If he passes all three tests, the tribe will accept him as their new chef. Fair enough, says the man. Just let me know what the tests are and I'll get right on them. The priest takes him to a clearing with three straw huts in it, turns to the man and explains the tests. In the first hut, 
you'll find 20 gallons of our native beer. You must drink all of this to complete this test. In the second hut is a gorilla with a sore tooth. You must pull his tooth and survive to pass this test. In the third hut is the ex chieftain's daughter. You must make love to her until she can take no more. The man agrees to the test and begins the first test. Three hours later, he walks out of the hut and goes toward the second hut. The priest asks if he would like to have a rest, but the man says he wants to get all the tests done before he sleeps. He goes into the second hut. After two hours, he comes out covered from head to toe in blood and scratches. He turns to the priest and says, Now, lead me to the girl with the sore tooth. <laughs>